Get ready for a breathtaking journey through the cosmos. As we explore a series of captivating images, make sure to stay tuned until the very end. Images 10 and 11 are particularly spectacular, showcasing some of the most stunning celestial views you've ever seen. Don't miss them. Image number one, exploring the mysteries of Iris, 11051, 7706 in the Chameleon constellation. Deep in the heart of the Chameleon constellation, about 1200 light years away from Earth, lies a fascinating spectacle of space, the IRS 11051, 7706 Nebula. This isn't just any part of space. It's a vibrant nursery where stars are born. Imagine a cosmic cauldron brimming with colorful gases and dust, all coming together in a celestial dance to create new stars. What makes this nebula unique, and how do we even see what's happening in this distant star-forming region? The answer lies in using a special kind of light, called infrared. This light, invisible to our eyes, can travel through the dense clouds of dust and gas, giving us a peek into the hidden corners of the universe. It's like having X-ray vision, allowing us to see the building blocks of new stars that ordinary light can't reveal. IRAs 11051 7706 is a part of our galaxy, the Milky Way. Classified as a nebula where stars are born, it's a region of intense activity. Here, clouds of gas and dust are pulled together by gravity, growing hotter and denser until they ignite to form new stars. It's a process of transformation and creation on a grand scale, a fundamental part of our universe's life cycle. The intriguing image of IRS 11051, 7706 was captured using advanced technology that can detect infrared light. This data helps us understand the mysterious processes of star formation. By studying this nebula, astronomers hope to uncover the secrets of how stars are born in such dusty and chaotic environments. What triggers the transformation of gas and dust into blazing stars? How do these processes shape the galaxy we live in? In the grand tapestry of the cosmos, IRAS 11051, 7706 stands as a testament to the ongoing story of the universe. Every observation and discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in this vast, intriguing cosmos. It's a journey of exploration and wonder reminding us of the incredible complexity and beauty of the universe we call home. Image number two, unveiling the secrets of the Coronet Star Cluster. This image offers a captivating glimpse into the regions around the Coronet Star Cluster, located in the Corona Australis constellation, a mere 400 light years from our planet. Here, we witness the birthplace of new stars, where vibrant clouds of gas and dust are key players in the creation of stellar life. The real magic in this image comes from infrared observations. This type of light, invisible to the naked eye, has the unique ability to pass through the dense clouds of dust, unveiling details of these star-forming regions that are typically hidden from view. This particular image was crafted using advanced technology capable of detecting and analyzing infrared light. These observations are part of a larger effort to better understand how stars are formed in regions shrouded in dust. The Coronet Star Cluster is an integral part of our Milky Way galaxy. It's classified as a nebula actively engaged in star formation. In this cosmic setting, gas and dust come together, influenced by gravity, to form new stars. This process is fundamental to our understanding of how celestial bodies evolve and how our galaxy continues to change and grow. Studying areas like the Coronet Star Cluster helps astronomers piece together the complex puzzle of star formation and the ongoing evolution of galaxies. Each observation and discovery in such regions adds to our knowledge of the universe and its myriad of celestial phenomena. Image number three, exploring the H254, Nebula in Infrared. This image showcases the Xi254 Nebula, a dark nebula located in the Serpens Cauda constellation, part of our Milky Way galaxy. 
Captured in infrared light, this view reveals aspects of the nebula that are not visible in regular light. Infrared imaging is effective in this context because it can penetrate the clouds of dust and gas that typically obscure our view in visible light. This allows us to see the light from stars that are behind or within the nebula, providing a clearer picture of what's happening in these dense regions. The SHE-254 nebula is categorized as a dark nebula due to its appearance. In normal visible light, such nebulae appear dark because their dense gas and dust clouds block light from passing through. However, when viewed in infrared, these same clouds become more transparent, revealing the celestial objects behind them. This image helps astronomers understand the structure of the nebula and the activity occurring within it, such as the formation of new stars. By studying nebulae like SH-254, we gain insights into the processes shaping our galaxy and the complex interactions between stellar objects and interstellar material. Image number four, title, The Cat's Paw and Lobster. Nebulae, a cosmic spectacle. This image presents a stunning view of two nebulae in the Scorpius constellation, the Cat's Paw Nebula, upper right, and the Lobster Nebula, lower left. Both are regions of active star formation, known for their dynamic and visually striking appearance. The Cat's Paw and Lobster Nebulae are classified as emission nebulae within our Milky Way galaxy. This means they are made up of hydrogen gas that glows red due to the energy emitted by hot young stars forming within them. This glow is a key feature that helps astronomers identify areas of new star formation in the galaxy. In addition to the glowing gas, the image also captures dark clouds of dust within these nebulae. These dust clouds are important because they often house the raw materials from which stars are born. It's important to note that some features in the image, like the circular patterns around bright stars, are not actual celestial objects. These are artifacts created by reflections within the imaging equipment used to capture the view. Both the cat's paw and lobster nebulae are prime examples of the beautiful complexity of our universe. Studying them not only provides insights into the process of star formation, but also adds to our understanding of the dynamic nature of our galaxy. Image number five, exploring the Orion, a molecular cloud. This image provides a detailed infrared view of the Orion A molecular cloud, known as the closest large-scale star-forming region to Earth, approximately 1,400 light-years away in the Orion constellation. This cloud is a crucial area for astronomers studying the birth of stars and the conditions in these dense molecular regions. The Orion A molecular cloud is significant due to its role as a star factory. In regions like this, dense clouds of gas and dust come together under the force of gravity, creating the right conditions for stars to form. This process of star formation is a fundamental aspect of our understanding of the universe and the life cycle of stellar objects. Infrared imaging is essential for studying areas like the Orion A molecular cloud. Unlike visible light, which can be blocked by dust, infrared light can penetrate these dense dust clouds. This allows astronomers to see through the dust and observe the processes and objects hidden within, such as young stars and other formations typically obscured from our view. The Orion A molecular cloud is a part of our Milky Way galaxy and represents an active region where the complex interactions of gas, dust, and emerging stars can be observed and studied. Images like this are key to unraveling the mysteries of star birth and the evolution of galaxies. Image number six, the Prawn Nebula, a stellar tapestry in the Scorpius constellation. This image captures the Prawn Nebula, also known as GUM 56 and IC 4628, located in the Scorpius constellation, about 6,000 light years from Earth. The Prawn Nebula is an emission nebula, meaning it emits light due to the ionization of gas by the ultraviolet light from nearby hot stars. 
In this close-up view, we see a rich mosaic of gas clouds, part of a vast area of star formation. The image reveals clumps of hot, newly formed stars nestled within the nebula. These stars, in their early stages of life, illuminate their surroundings, causing the gas clouds to glow brightly. This process highlights the intricate structures within the nebula, including filaments and pockets of gas and dust. The Prawn Nebula is a significant region within our Milky Way galaxy, offering a window into the complex process of starbirth. Observations of such nebulae help astronomers understand the conditions and mechanisms that lead to the formation of stars, shedding light on the life cycle of these celestial bodies and the evolution of galaxies. Studying the Prawn Nebula not only enhances our knowledge of star formation, but also provides a breathtaking view of the universe's beauty, showcasing the dynamic and colorful landscapes of space. Image number seven, the Crab Nebula, a window into cosmic evolution. The Crab Nebula, also known as Messier 1, NGC 1952, and Taurus A, stands out as one of the most extensively studied objects in the sky. Located in the Taurus constellation, approximately 6,000 light years from Earth, it represents the remnants of a supernova explosion, a stellar event so powerful it was recorded by Chinese astronomers in 1054. The image of the Crab Nebula reveals a complex network of tangled filaments. These are the remains of the star that exploded, still expanding outward at a remarkable speed of about 1,500 kilometers per second. Such expansion provides crucial insights into the life cycle of stars and the forces at play in such cataclysmic events. At the heart of the nebula, though not visible to the naked eye, are two faint stars. One of these stars, known as the Crab Pulsar or CM Tau, plays a pivotal role in the story of the nebula. This pulsar is the dense core of the star that exploded, now only about 20 kilometers in diameter, spinning rapidly at 30 rotations per second. The Crab Pulsar is a fascinating object, emitting pulses of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, from gamma rays to radio waves. It's notably one of the brightest gamma ray sources in the sky. This intense radiation is shaping the nebula, creating waves of material that deform its inner regions. Remarkably, these changes occur at a pace observable to astronomers, offering a unique opportunity to study cosmic evolution in real time, a rarity given the typically lengthy timescales of astronomical phenomena. The Crab Nebula's dual classification as both a neutron star and a supernova remnant in the Milky Way galaxy makes it a valuable subject for understanding both the explosive end of a star's life and the nature of the dense, compact objects left behind. Its study not only enhances our knowledge of stellar evolution, but also provides a spectacular example of the dynamic processes at play in our universe. Image number eight the unfiltered view of the Omega Nebula. This raw image provides an authentic, unedited glimpse into the Omega Nebula, an intriguing celestial object. When viewing such images, it's important to understand that they differ significantly from the color-enhanced photos commonly seen. Typically, astronomical images are monochromatic in their raw form. They capture light at a single wavelength, appearing in shades of a single color. The vibrant colors and familiar astronomical images are created by combining these monochromatic shots taken through various colored filters. This process helps to highlight different features of the nebula based on the light they emit or absorb. A noticeable characteristic in raw images like this is the apparent division in the field of view. This is not an actual feature of the nebula, but a result of the way the image is captured and pieced together. Additionally, in raw images, the centers of the brightest stars might appear unusually dark. This is due to the intense light saturating the point of capture, which means the brightest part of the star exceeds the limit of what the image can record, leading to a black spot. The Omega Nebula, with its raw and unfiltered appearance, offers a more natural view of the cosmos, providing a different perspective on the celestial wonders and the process of capturing them. This authentic view emphasizes the nebula's true characteristics, 
untainted by the enhancements typically made for color and clarity. Image number 9, the stellar dance of NGC 6193 and NGC 6188. This image captures a remarkable scene in the ERA constellation, featuring two fascinating celestial objects, the star cluster NGC 6193 and the emission nebula NGC 6188. Both are part of the larger ERA OB1 stellar association, showcasing the dynamic interplay between stars and nebulae in our Milky Way galaxy. At the center of the image is NGC 6193, a young open star cluster. Open clusters like NGC 6193 are groups of stars that were formed from the same molecular cloud and are loosely bound by mutual gravitational attraction. These stars share a common origin, making them key subjects in studying stellar evolution and the dynamics of stellar groups. Adjacent to NGC 6193 is NGC 6188, an emission nebula. This nebula is particularly striking due to its illumination by the ionizing radiation from the brightest stars nearby. Emission nebulae like NGC 6188 are clouds of ionized gas that emit light of various colors, depending on the elements present in the gas. The ionizing radiation from nearby stars energizes the gas in the nebula, causing it to glow and reveal intricate patterns and structures. The interaction between the star cluster NGC 6193 and the emission nebula NGC 6188 is a vivid example of the life cycle of stars and the materials that form them. As stars evolve, they impact their surroundings, shaping the nebulae and influencing the birth of new stars. Observations of such regions provide valuable insights into the processes that govern the formation and evolution of stars and nebulae within our galaxy. In summary, this image not only offers a stunning visual of a portion of the sky, but also serves as a window into the ongoing processes of star formation and the complex relationship between stars and the interstellar medium in the vast expanse of our Milky Way galaxy. Image number 10, the Seagull Nebula, a celestial nursery in detail. This image offers a close-up view of a section of the Seagull Nebula, a stellar nursery in the Monocorus constellation, located about 3,500 light-years away from Earth. Known also as Esh2, 292, RCW2, and GUM1, this part of the nebula resembles the head of a seagull and is notable for its bright glow. The luminosity of the Seagull Nebula is primarily due to the presence of a very hot young star at its core. This star emits energetic radiation, which illuminates the surrounding gas, causing the nebula to shine brightly. Nebulae like this one are regions where new stars are formed from clouds of gas and dust. The Seagull Nebula is a fascinating object within our Milky Way galaxy. It provides a vivid example of the processes involved in star formation. As gas in the nebula condenses under gravity, it heats up and can eventually ignite to form new stars. This process is not only critical for the growth of the galaxy, but also for understanding the life cycle of stars. In this detailed image, we get a glimpse into the complex structure of the nebula, highlighting the dynamic and often chaotic environment of stellar nurseries. Observations of such regions are crucial in piecing together the vast puzzle of cosmic evolution and the mechanisms driving the birth of stars in our galaxy. Image number 11, the LHA 120 and 44 Superbubble, a cosmic revelation link. HTTPS semicolon slash slash www.eso.org slash public slash archives slash images slash original slash potw1236 a dot tiff. This image reveals the star-forming region LHA 120N44 within the Large Magellanic Cloud, a neighboring galaxy to our own Milky Way. Located about 150,000 light-years away in the constellation of Dorado, this area is a vibrant showcase of gas, dust, and young stars. 
At the heart of LHA 120N44 lies the star cluster NGC 1929. The massive stars within this cluster are sources of intense radiation. They expel matter at high speeds in the form of stellar winds and end their lives dramatically as supernovae. These powerful forces have sculpted a vast cavity in the surrounding gas, known as a superbubble. The combined imagery in this view is striking. It blends visible light with infrared and X-ray images from various observatories. The X-ray data, shown in blue, highlights hot regions shaped by stellar winds and supernova shockwaves. Infrared imaging, shown in red, outlines the cooler gas and dust. The visible light view in yellow illuminates the hot young stars and the glowing clouds of gas and dust that envelop them. This multi-wavelength approach has helped astronomers solve a puzzle surrounding N44 and similar superbubbles, their strong X-ray emissions. The key lies in two additional X-ray sources, shockwaves from supernovae colliding with the cavity walls and hot material evaporating from these walls. This X-ray activity at the edge of the superbubble is evident in the image. The LHA 120N44 superbubble is more than just a visually stunning region. It's a testament to the dynamic processes at play in star-forming nebulas. Observing such regions enhances our understanding of how stars are born, evolve, and impact their surroundings, providing valuable insights into the life cycles of galaxies. Image number Image. 11, the LHA 120N44, Superbubble, a cosmic revelation. This image reveals the star-forming region, LHA 120N44, within the Large Magellanic Cloud, a neighboring galaxy to our own Milky Way. Located about 150,000 light-years away in the constellation of Dorado, this area is a vibrant showcase of gas, dust, and young stars. At the heart of LHA, 120N44 lies the star cluster NGC 1929. The massive stars within this cluster are sources of intense radiation. They expel matter at high speeds in the form of stellar winds and end their lives dramatically as supernovae. These powerful forces have sculpted a vast cavity in the surrounding gas, known as a superbubble. The combined imagery in this view is striking. It blends visible light with infrared and X-ray images from various observatories. The X-ray data, shown in blue, highlights hot regions shaped by stellar winds and supernova shockwaves. Infrared imaging, shown in red, outlines the cooler gas and dust. The visible light view in yellow illuminates the hot young stars and the glowing clouds of gas and dust that envelop them. This multi-wavelength approach has helped astronomers solve a puzzle surrounding N44 and similar superbubbles, their strong X-ray emissions. The key lies in two additional X-ray sources, shock waves from supernova colliding with the cavity walls and hot material evaporating from these walls. This X-ray activity at the edge of the superbubble is evident in the image. The LHA 120N44 superbubble is more than just a visually stunning region. It's a testament to the dynamic processes at play in star-forming nebulas. Observing such regions enhances our understanding of how stars are born, evolve, and impact their surroundings, providing valuable insights into the life cycles of galaxies. Image number 12, the Carina Nebula, a celestial masterpiece. The Carina Nebula, also known as NGC 3372, is a stunning region of star formation within the Milky Way, located in the constellation of Carina. This color composite image reveals the intricate details of the stars and dust in this part of the galaxy, showcasing several notable astronomical objects within its expanse. Prominently featured in the bottom left of the image is Eta Carinae, one of the most remarkable binary star systems in the universe. Close to Eta Carinae, the famous Keyhole Nebula stands out, adding to the region's visual appeal. Above and to the right of Eta Carinae is the open star cluster Trumpler 14, a gathering of very bright young stars. 
These open clusters are groups of stars formed from the same molecular cloud, bound together by mutual gravitational attraction. They are key to understanding the formation and evolution of stars. Another open star cluster, Colander 228, is also visible in the image, located just below Eta Carini. These clusters are part of the larger Carina Nebula complex, a massive star-forming region rich in gas and dust, serving as a nursery for new stars. The field of view in this image is 0.55 x 0.55 degrees, which translates to a region spanning 72 x 72 light-years, at the distance of the nebula. The orientation of the image places north upwards and east to the left, providing a clear and structured view of this astronomical wonder. The Carina Nebula is not just a visually spectacular region, it's a vital part of our galaxy's stellar landscape. Studying such nebulas helps astronomers understand the processes of star birth and the dynamic interactions within these celestial nurseries. The Carina Nebula, with its diverse range of stellar phenomena, remains one of the most studied and admired regions in the night sky. Thanks for joining us on this celestial adventure. If you enjoyed the journey, please show your support by liking and subscribing. Don't forget to check out our next video for more amazing cosmic explorations. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to leave a comment.